Well, good morning and welcome to Shootin' a Poo with Sue. As always, I am Sue. It's about 4.30 in the morning <laughs> and I am having my morning coffee with you. This one says, every day is a fresh start. Sometimes we just need that. <laughs> mm. So I hope you got your coffee ready. You know, I've had so many of you say that you don't care if I have packages or not, that you'd watch me anyway because you like my bubbly personality and the chit chat and stuff. And, um, yeah, I want to be, be able to, uh, set up my, I'm having issues with my phone, I, the charging port, there's something wrong with it. So my phone's not holding a charge. Um, so I'm going to have to figure out a way to, cause I want to learn how to do the live, the live stream. I think that would be good. I was thinking maybe eventually Monday mornings, maybe we could do live stream coffee and chit chat, you know, and, uh, that would be nice. We could just sit here and whatever, but I'm not sure. I mean, I probably could do it with my laptop. Um, I don't know if I could use the external can camera or if I'll have to use the one in my laptop. I'll have to figure that out. I don't know how good that camera is. So I'll figure that out. Um, but I don't know. It was just a thought. Monday morning, chit chat, shoot the poo with Sue. <laughs> um, I thought that would be cool. But as for this morning, I actually, I don't have a haul. But oh my God, do I have jewelry. Now, I'm not going to be able to show you every piece. <laughs> um, but th throughout the past year since I started um, doing this channel, I've accumulated some jewelry. Now, some of it I've kept and, you know, put aside. Some of it that I'm going to keep is mixed inside. But I also have... Look, I, I told you that I've been very disorganized and I've had bags just everywhere with everything just thrown in them. When I'm done with it, I put it away, put it back in the bag and I put it aside. And so I've had them everywhere. I, I had to wait till the bins came in. I've been very disorganized. So I started this week with clearing out a bunch of those bags, putting some in bins and stuff. And this I filled up just with jewelry. <laughs> I don't know if you could see in there, but this sucker is full. <laughs> so... Oh, wait, I'm going to dump it right out. I put a, a shirt on the bed, a black shirt, so you could see. Don't mind the white hairs, because I have a Shiba Inu who sheds like nobody's business. So, let me see if you can see this. I'm going to put this down here, and I'm going to dump this right here. So that you can have some idea... Of all, and this thing's full of jewelry too. You can have some, it's got jewelry and things to make jewelry and more things of jewelry. <laughs> There's rings. I've got these that I started to fill up. There's two of these. Um, and I've got a ton more rings to put in there too. So this one here when I'm ready, this, this bag is full. I think this has got sterling in it though. I think that's why it's in the separate bag. I can't remember. But uh, just to give you an idea of what I've been doing. Now I'm going to take all this jewelry. I'm going to put it on individual cards or, you know, cards with sets and stuff. Get it off the ones that it came in because there, some of the earrings aren't right. Some of them, there's like too many on a on a thing because I, I had bought um, organizers to be able to, to um, set them on displays be able to set them up when I sell them so I've got to make sure that I have them on cards that have like the holes in them and some of them don't some of them the cards are like this the card is all mangled so I want to make sure I've got them all good some of them like this is just the black ropes um I know I've got a bunch in here that are just the beads and then some are sets that have just the stones and the ropes um Let's see. Oh, all different colors. These are all different color studs, little pearls, which I think are really cute, by the way. Uh, oh, a pretty bracelet. And it's expandable, so you can wear it as tight or as loose as you want. But, yeah, there's uh, oh, here's some 
earring hooks so I can make earrings because I, I got a bunch of charms somewhere. I don't I haven't even un gone through every bag and box that I've had. So I'm sure I'm gonna have a lot more jewelry to add to this. <laughs> oh. oh, these pretty hair clips. You remember these? How pretty they are? I don't know how well you can see that. Um these little angel hair clips. I love these. They look like Tinkerbell. They're little fairy hair clips, so they're not so little, but they're nice. They're nice. I really love those. Um, oh, yeah, I had the rubber earring backs because some of the earrings that, that come don't have backs to them or the backs aren't any really, really any good. Um, I don't know. There's uh, And then some of the stuff I've gotten in, in other people's, like mystery boxes that I've gotten from other people. So they have like things, prices written on them that I didn't write or price tags on them. Some of them do. Um, so yeah, there's like, holy moly, there's a lot of stuff. Oh, here's the little flower charms. So I could make some earrings with those. Aren't those cute? I think they're adorable. Little teeny flowers. Yeah, I love daisies. They're my favorite. Um... Oh, and then I've got some uh, some rawhide because I like to make my own necklaces with my own rawhide. Like, this isn't cut. This is just one big strand, so I can make them the size that I like. Um, necklaces, bracelets, anklets, whatever you want with the rawhide, I like to do that. Um, so I can add charms on there or beads on there, or I can just leave it plain and maybe make braids out of them, whatever I choose to do. But I like that I can adjust my own size because... With these, they don't always fit everybody. I mean, I don't know if you could see, but that that's kind of small and even extended. On somebody like me, ex you know, because where I used to have a neck, I now only have chins. <laughs> so, <laughs> um, for somebody like me, this is a choker. <laughs> this is a choker. And, and that's all well and good, but I don't like things too restrictive on my neck. I like it to hang about here. I think that's perfect um some things i like to hang really long but for the most part about here is good so yeah these are good um for some of the pre-made ones but to be perfectly honest i prefer to make my own lengths because not everyone you know is skinny mini and i'm sorry but the majority of society is not skinny mini at least not that i've seen although i mean there are a lot but there's got to be at least equal amounts of both so I think they should make things for equal amounts of both. Uh, let's see. I got some gold. Oh, these are rings. These are gold rings. I don't wear gold at all. I like white gold, platinum, and sterling. Um, however, I don't own anything platinum. <laughs> I only have white. I only have white gold and sterling. But uh, yeah, these are all gold rings, and I buy them because. I figure just because I don't like them, some people do. And they're, you know, clearly they're costume jewelry. Uh, clearly they're costume jewelry. So, you know, people know when they buy when they buy them that they're not getting top of the line for a dollar, <laughs> you know. <laughs> um, so, or 50 cents or whatever I happen to sell each ring for. Um, I, don't, I think these particular ones are 50 cent rings. I don't think I'd charge more than that for that. Um, but there are some rings that are much nicer, like these. This is a men's ring. Or a woman could wear it too, I guess, but I, it was labeled as a men's ring. But this is a nice solid ring. And I like the stone in it. And let's see. This one's got all sapphires. The sapphire is my birthstone. So the light in here is not great because I just have the overhead light on. And I've got my little desk light too, but it's still not perfect. So I don't know how well you can see that. But yeah, this one's all sapphires. So these I'll charge a little bit more because they're much nicer rings. But the little ones that are just wiry rings, 50 cents. <laughs> 50 cents, but the nicer, more sturdy, whatever. What is this? 
oh, this is shavings, like, um, I thought they were cut glass, but they're not. It looks like silver shavings. So I think these I can put in a, in the, um, cheapest creepers, I can't think. I can use them for arts and crafts. I can put them in the resin. That would be cool. I don't know if that's for. I thought it was cut glass. But it's not. It's all silver. So it's shaved silver. Oh, yeah. It's definitely metal. <laughs> that's cool. Um, so, yeah. Matter of fact, I've got another bag that's just all arts and crafts. And it's huge. I have a bin in my hallway full of arts and crafts products that I'm going to sell. And then I've got a duffel bag full of stuff that I'm keeping on top of a big bin that I've got in my closet full of stuff that I've kept. Because I love doing them. I just haven't had the space or the time to really do it. Uh, what's in here? Yeah, this is all sterling. I'm pretty sure, mo or at least the mo majority of it is. Yeah, these are sterling. As a matter of fact, some of them started to discolor already. If you don't store them correctly, they tarnish very quickly. Um, but I like to interchange my charms. So they're a little bit knotted up. I've got different style chains in here. Some are very thin, some are thick. But anyway, these are my, some of my sterling chains. So um, I, I put nicer things on here and then I'll bow, uh, card them up and bag them up and I'll sell them. Some of those I'll keep though because I really do like to, uh, I like to do whatever. Let me see. Oh, some earrings. So I'll put aside. Yeah, I've got to literally sort through all this stuff now and figure out I'm not sure if that's a bracelet or a necklace, but yeah, I've got to uh, sort through all this stuff now and figure out how I'm going to store it. The, the rings, I still have to size them. Fortunately, I bought a thing that they can slide on so I can write down what sizes they are. I've got bracelet charms. Uh, oh, these are, this looks like, what is this? Oh, th is this a bracelet? Hold on. I might have found a bracelet. I think I found a little, either it's a bunch of charms or a little charm bracelet. You know it's too early in the morning for me to be doing this stuff. <laughs> Holy moly. But, oh my goodness, I have collected so much jewelry, and that's not even, this isn't even a dent because I've kept so much, too. You know I like my funky earrings. And I get the ones that I've been given for gifts, I keep. Um, I never get rid of the gifts that I get, ever. Those are mine forever. Because they mean so much from, you, from me coming from you guys. Oh. Oh, excuse me. Melody Joy has sent me some nice ones in our last swap. And I get them from the gifts from uh, the mystery boxes from Cheap Chick. And I like to save that stuff. I save the cards and, and the jewelry. Yeah, this is a little charm bracelet. Oh, let me turn it around so you can see it better. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, that's really pretty. Okay, where's the end of it? <laughs> it's got no end. It ends with a cross, so I guess I'd have to just hook it on here. I don't know. Yeah, it has a cross on the end of it. There you go. <laughs> Isn't that pretty? I think that's really pretty. My rings I don't normally take off. I have one on my thumb here. I have one here. I keep them on. Um, but these are the kind of this is the kind of jewelry that you don't keep on because they will turn your fingers green after a while, probably, because <laughs> they're not real silver or gold, you know. Um, but costume jewelry can stay really nice too if you keep it nice. Um, if you take care of them, you put them away in a dark place. Um, 
they usually stay pretty nice for a long time. Um, but clearly, if you're going to wear it all the time, then the oils on your hands and stuff, that eventually starts taking off the, the finish of them. But, you know, to just wear, you know, on, on occasions, like switch it up all the time, they're fine. You can make them last for years. For years and years. Oh, and the sterling ones, I'll let you know. Oh, you know what else I found too? <laughs> I forgot I had it. My son didn't like it. He said, that's not a duck, it's a goose. And it's not a goose, it's a friggin' duck. My little banana duck. <laughs> I love him. He is so awesome. Look at that. <laughs> that's so funny. I keep this on my desk too. Let me see, I'll show you. Every time I feel sad, I turn him on. <laughs> I keep him on my bed table. <laughs> I said my desk because it's a bed table that comes over your bed like a desk. <laughs> Isn't he adorable? I just think he's so cute. I want to put like a little outfit on him. Little pants or something. <laughs> I think he's adorable. So when I feel sad now I can look at my banana duck. My little guy. Oh. oh if I can reach over here. And this, isn't he cute? I love him. I keep him right next to my bed. <laughs> These little things, they just make me, how do you think, how is this not like just worth a good smile, right? So anyway, I have not had enough coffee as you can tell. Mm. But oh my God, I've got so much jewelry here to go through. I don't even know where to begin. This so I like this so much, and then I've got pieces to make jewelry. Um, like these are just the little rings. Can you see that? To like add so I can put the the hooks on, the clasps on, or to add um, to add charms onto a chain or whatever. Um, so yeah, I mean they're everywhere, everywhere. Oh, I've got these little balloon animal ones. These are heavy, though. I don't know if they'd be good on a, on earrings. I thought maybe they would, but these are much heavier than I thought. So I might figure out something else for these. Maybe on a bracelet or an ankle. I don't know. They're awful heavy. I'm going to figure out something else for these. Um, what else do we have? More chains. More stones, whoops, ropes, sorry. More stones and ropes. Very nice. What else do we have? Oh, this looks like an anklet. Yeah, it's an anklet with a little turtle. Is a little turtle? Turtle, turtle. Uh, a snake ring. Oh, this will come out of the bag. Oh, can it? <laughs> My brain is still half asleep, or as I like to say, stuck on stupid. A little snake ring. Nice and sparkly. So yeah, he can go on my ring box. I've got a, a ton. I can't even, like, where do I begin? I went big for this bracelet. I just bought another one that was very similar. I haven't gotten it yet. But, can you see that? It's like the three. Let me see if I can get this out of here. I went really big for this. Like the boho look, you know. This one is blue. There we go. Can you? See? I don't know how well you can see that. I'll block my face so you can see it better. So it's got the four ropes. I'll spread them out. There you go. Oh no, it's got one, two, three, four, five. Five ropes. 
nice. But anyway, I went big for that. I thought that was really nice. I think those like look nice on people. I can't lift my arm like that. <laughs> Holy moly. Oh, definitely more coffee is needed. So how was your day today? Did you have a good sleep? How was your day? How was your morning going, I should say? Did you have a good sleep? I had a terrible sleep. Well, when I slept... I slept good, but I only sleep for about an hour, an hour and a half before I have to get up every friggin' hour, an hour and a half. What happens when you get old? You have to keep waking up to go to the bathroom. Cheap as creepers. Mm. No, even when I don't have to go, I still wake up like that. All day, all night, I'm like the queen of cat naps. I never, I think the longest I've slept at one time in the past few years is four hours. Most times it's usually between an hour and two hours. And then I'm up for a couple of hours. And then I sleep for an hour, two hours, and I'm up for a couple of hours. I guess uh, my body is just... And I'm a night owl. Like, sometimes at night I just can't sleep at all. I could stay awake all day long and be so exhausted at make because I make myself stay awake. So I'll be able to go to sleep at night. And then come nighttime, I'm like, why can't I sleep? Why can't I sleep? I tried the white noise thing. I tried the, I tried putting the TV on, on the YouTube where it has like the thunderstorms because that's very relaxing or the, the story times with it, what, the music, whatever they can give you to, to fall asleep. But none of it works. None of it works. But let me eat lunch. <laughs> I eat lunch. I eat dinner right afterwards. Out like a light. <laughs> And I don't want to eat lunch in the middle of the night. Like, it's 4 o'clock in the morning. I didn't fall asleep till after 2. Well, it's 4.30 in the morning, quarter of 5 now. Um, I didn't fall asleep till after 2. I woke up, made coffee, came in here, started making a video. Because <laughs> I knew I was not going back to sleep anytime soon. Mm. So... It, you know, I was blaming it for years on my, my work schedule because I used to work 14-hour um, nights. I'd work from 7 at night until 9 in the morning. And I did that for years. And I so I just blamed it on, you know, my work schedule. But to be honest with you, even when I was a teenager, I would be like that. I could I'd stay up all night. I'd get up in the night and I'd rearrange my room and clean it and do whatever because I just couldn't sleep or I'd stay up all night so I could walk to the beach in the morning. You know, I figure, well, I'll fall asleep on the beach. No big deal. <laughs> and I hardly ever fell asleep on the beach. <laughs> so, yeah, I don't know why. That's just how my internal clock is. I bet a lot of you have that, too. I mean, there are some of us, whether it be their work schedules or, you know, just... Their internal, their internal clocks, I mean, and some of us have changed. Like when I worked and had to get up for quarter or four in the morning, I was able to do that too. Um, so I don't, I don't know. I don't know. But I, I tend, my internal clock tells me to be a nighttime gal. So here I am in the middle of the night or early in the morning. <laughs> By 10 o'clock, I'll be ready down for the count again. <laughs> And then I'll sleep for an hour or two, and I'll be up again for a few hours. <laughs> I know I'm rambling. I'm rambling. I can't be the only one. You guys. It, oh, see, now, if I was able to do live right now, I don't, my, can't do it with my phone, and I gotta work on my computer. But uh, if I was able to do it right now, you guys would all be probably chattering in and telling me oh my goodness I have it like this oh that happens to me too because I know I'm not the only one that's why I don't mind telling you guys because you all go through it too but I you know this is something that I went through for years and years well this is a 30 inch chain but it's super thin um I've been going through it since I was a kid so that's why I believe it was my internal clock because it just never changed. I always struggled. My kids, when they had to get up to go to school in the morning, you know, I did. I was diligent. I made sure. Oh, this is pretty, too. This is sterling. But it's very, very thin. I'd be afraid to break it. 
with my luck, it would break. So I would save this for like a special thing. Um, but yeah, I was diligent. I got up. I made sure my kids were ready for school and their stuff was made and everything was ready and they had their breakfast and yada, yada, yada. And then I did it for years, but still had struggled, still struggled sleeping at night. So weird. So weird. Oh, it looks like this one is different chains too, but this one doesn't have a size on it. Oh my God, there's so much here. There's so much here. And this was just a few bags that were in my room. This isn't even everything. Okay, it looks like these are several chains, different sizes. And I believe, let me see. Yep, these are sterling as well. They're all stamped. So these, I like this, these chains a little better. But these will make some nice necklaces to sell. And put a nice charm on the end. I've got some nice ones put away. So, and I love to interchange them too. I mean, it's nice to have a lot of necklaces um, with different charms on them. But it's I like just sometimes just getting the charms and just interchanging them. Um, having one or two necklaces. So you don't have to have a ton. It's easier to store the charms than it is to store the necklaces without them getting all tangled and blah, blah, blah. You know all that. <laughs> but anyway, it depends on the chain. It depends on the charm. It depends on the outfits. It You know, we women, we're just, we're just like that. Yeah, this has got a ton of earrings on here. A ton. I must have had a good deal on this stuff. I don't remember it, but I must have had a good deal. I got some Santa Claus earrings. Aren't those cute? What else do I have? Oh, here's some more Christmas ones. Some little Christmas tree and plaid ones. These are cute. Um, what is this? Oh, I like this. I might actually put this one on. This one is a little rope one with a doggy paw. Look at that. Or a kitty paw. The paws are paw. They all look the same. And it slides. Isn't that pretty? Aw, yeah, I'm going to put that on right now. Maybe. There we go. Perfect. Perfect. Um, what else? Ooh, these are pretty. I forgot where I got these. Look at that. They're hearts. I don't normally wear hearts, but look at that color. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, I forget where I got a lot of these. <laughs> I'm uh, um, clearly I got them, the majority of them from Timu. But uh, yeah, some of them I got as get as a. Uh, um, oh, these are really pretty. Some of them I got as a uh, little thank yous from other boxes, not from not from Cheap Chick or anything like that. From like random people that like I don't. I don't know what don't have YouTube just like from like Etsy or I forgot where I got some of the boxes from but I got other boxes from a few places those I don't care about but from the ones that like come from you guys or come from um, other creators that you know I happen to either have a, a friendship with or an even an acquaintance with I save those so yeah look at these how pretty these are I don't know if you can see the color this isn't the best lighting, like I said. I'm sorry, but these are really pretty. It's they're like they're purple, but they're like opaly too. So like a purpley pink, but I can see if when I shift them, I kind of get a little blue, a little green. I really like that. So anyway, I'm not gonna show you, like I said, every piece of jewelry because there's just so much. 
But this is what I'm going to be doing today is sorting this out, putting them on, the, on cards, packaging them up nicely, getting them ready to be displayed so that I can put them away. So when it's time that I have my yard sale or even make up my, my mystery boxes, um, I will have them. So, oh, here's some gold earrings with the green. I, I was with Dee when we opened these up. So, yeah, it'll be nice. It'll be nice. They've got pearls in there. They've got green in there. Oh, there's just so much. Oh, excuse me. I'm so sorry. Anyway, you get the gist, I'm sure. <laughs> So, I don't know. Tell me what you think if once I start doing lives, which as soon as I figure it out, I know I keep saying that, and I mean it, but I've just been taking care of so much stuff at home. But what would you think if once I'm able to start doing lives, if I started doing one every Monday? Um, even if it's only for, you know, a half hour, an hour, just an hour, well, I figure probably an hour. Um, but, like, do one every Monday morning just to say good morning, have your morning coffee, and, uh, I don't know. I thought we could just chit-chat about a few things. We'll have, like, shooting a poo with Sue, Monday morning edition. <laughs> oh, Monday morning coffee edition. There you go. <laughs> mm. So let me know what you think about that. I think that might be a good idea. Oh, do I have my work? Oh, I didn't even open up this pink thing to see what's in here. I keep telling you I'm not going to show you everything, but yet. <laughs> I don't even know what's in here. Oh, look. See, here's some of the... These are moons. Some of the stones that I could put on those necklaces. Oh, I've got a bunch of earrings already carded in here. And a bunch I have to card. <laughs> oh, look. And here's a bunch of cards <laughs> to put the earrings on. All brand new. So that they'll look good. Oh, here are some other little charms. These are little little smoothies. <laughs> Let me see if I can get them up so you can see them. They're all little smoothie cups. <laughs> yeah, those will make some cute earrings. Those will make some really cute earrings. What are... What else do I have in here? Oh, I was looking for this. I thought I lost it, my little fried egg. <laughs> There's a couple of them I thought I lost, and, and I must have just put them in something else. Oh, like this one, my little gumball machine. <laughs> Isn't he cute? <laughs> oh, I'm such a wee oh, I found that one. There we go. My trolls are in here. Oh, see, I've got like a bunch of little... These are just hooks. I'm not going to put those on earrings. Although, you know what? I could because they're very lightweight. <laughs> that would be a funky earring, right? But no, I like to have these little hooks to keep my things together. Um, you know, I keep a bigger one on my bag, on the, on the metal ring of my bag. When I go grocery shopping or actually any kind of shopping and I'm pushing the shopping cart, I don't just leave my bag. But, like, my bag, I keep my, I don't hold it the whole time, so I put it in the carriage, but I clip it to the carriage. God forbid somebody goes to grab my get bag and go, they're not going anywhere because they're hooked to me. <laughs> they're hooked to my carriage. <laughs> so, and I'm, I never, like, not watch to make sure nobody's putting their hand in it, you know. I keep it zipped up. So, if somebody did want to do it, they wouldn't be able to because I'm right there. But to grab it and run, they could. So I keep a I keep one of those these hooks on it, a big one. And this way here, every time I go to the store, I just clip it right to the carriage. So if somebody tries to do it, it's attached to me. Cause just like everybody else, I'm not trying to lose my money. Honey. I want to be a smart cookie. Oh, here's some more of those shavings, but these are purple. The metal shavings. You know, I could use these for a lot of different things, too. You don't have to just use them in resin. You could use these for all kinds of crafts. So, I like that. I like that idea a lot. 
Oh, he has some rings to make some key rings. So I've got I've got quite a bit. Oh, here's a this is a mirror strip. I can either cut it or use it as is to put it anywhere. I can do as many this way or this way as I want, as long or as short. I like these a lot too. They're adhesive, so when you peel off the back, they shall stick, which is awesome. And that also makes it so that they come off much easier too if you ever want to remove them. But they're easy to clean too because they're mirror tops. So I like that. These are good for, for crafts as well. Um, what else do I have in here? Oh, more, ster whoops, more sterling necklaces. A whole bunch of them. <laughs> Oh my goodness, I had a lot of stuff in here. Oh, a bracelet, a pretty bracelet. It's got a little elephant in there. Very sweet, this is kind of red and gold. I don't really wear that, but somebody might like it. When the elephant's got little different color stones, it's got, looks like red, pink, purple, and blue. I don't know how well you can see that, but very pretty. Very pretty. So, yeah, you've got an idea of what I'm looking at here. <laughs> so, I got my work cut out for me. <laughs> Definitely got my work cut out for me. So, what do you think? <laughs> can you be patient with me a little more? <laughs> I'm working my butt off to get things done. I want to, as soon as spring comes and I can open up these windows, like let some air in here somehow, I want to try to do resin for the first time. And I, I'm going to do it with you guys. I'm going to, I have the, the new tripod thing that will hold my phone down, um, facing down so that you can see everything that I'm doing. I want, I wonder, I can't do it with this. You know what? I could probably even use my son's GoPro. I've never used it before, but I could probably use his GoPro and like put it like on my head or something so that when I look down, it'll see you. I mean, it'll see my resin stuff. I don't know. I don't even know if he's got all those strappy contraptions to it, but I should find out this way here. You can actually see everything I'm doing as I'm doing it. That would be, that would be cool too. I don't know. We'll figure it out. I'm dying to do all that. I just need, it's taken me a lot longer than I anticipated to get as organized as I want because clearly with some of my physical issues, um, my health issues, I've been struggling just a little tiny bit. So if you can be patient with me, it's all going to happen eventually. Um, I love having my morning coffee with you. I love shooting a poo with you my favorite part of the day mm. and it'll be nice when i can you know i <laughs> i was thinking about it would be nice when i could go live but i was thinking about going live on my phone do you know how what a struggle it's going to be for me to try to read all your comments on my on my phone so yeah i definitely have to do it on a bigger platform it has to be either on a good sized tablet which i don't have or my laptop or something because I'm never going to be able to read all your comments, and I'm never going to be able to read them fast. <laughs> so um, I, I was told that there's a way to slow it down. So I don't know. Um, I was watching somebody said that they slow they slow down the speed of it, so maybe on the computer I'll, I'll figure that out. Um, but even at that, it's like I don't want people to get upset if I don't answer something because I didn't see it. It went by too fast. Because it would take me forever to scroll through. Because it depends on how many people, clearly. I mean, if there's only just a few people, I'm not going to have any problem. But if there's like a ton of people trying to write stuff at the same time, my brain just can't work that fast. <laughs> I'm old. My brain likes to go on nice, easy mode. <laughs> but anyway, I'm looking forward to that. I think that'll be a nice idea. Um... So let me know what you think. I'd really, I really want to know. That would be a nice weekly thing to look forward to. And then we could discuss all kinds of things. We can discuss, you know, TV shows that we're watching. We could discuss movies that we like. We could discuss, uh, I don't know, whatever things are going on in the world. 
to a degree because I don't want any fighting in my in my thing. That's why I had originally said we kind of got to keep politics, religion, and football out of it because <laughs> those are things people fight about, and I'm not about fighting right now. My channel is for kindness. That's it. Nothing else. Kindness. So if we can debate about, about things and keep it copacetic, keep it kind, then that's fine because it's okay that we have differences. It really is. We don't have to agree on everything, but we do have to be kind to each other because I will not tolerate people being unkind on my channel because they believe something different. So that being said, all other topics are, you know, open for discussion, I guess. Um, and yeah, we can go from there. If you think it's a good idea, let me know. I don't know how long I've been on, on the phone. <laughs> I don't know how long this video has been so far, <laughs> but I hope it's been at least fairly enjoyable. I am a little silly. I know. I know. <laughs> and my little dancing guy says, oh, my little guys will say goodbye to you. He's so friggin' cute. Look at that. <laughs> he makes me so happy. <laughs> well, as long as he doesn't start doing that on his own <laughs> before I wind him up, I'll be good. I watch a lot of those spooky um, videos. Bizarre Hub and, and I was watching Slap Tam, but... Uh, it, it they're all right but i like uh some of them uh, most of them i can tell uh, you just know they're fake i'm sorry but a ghost a ghost is not or a, or a demon or a being or whatever they're not going to be behind the door going i'm sorry they're not afraid of you they're a ghost they're going to walk right out they're going to do their thing they're going to whatever they're not going to be like do you see me? <laughs> you know what I mean? Some of those are just ridiculous. And I also watched a video about how they, um, how people can make the videos appear real, like moving the furniture or pulling things out of drawers or whatever. And with the editing, you don't, they t all the strings disappear, all the ropes disappear, all the people disappear that are doing it. So, I mean, there's a lot of that. But the ones that do get me are the ones with animals and that get spooked out or start shaking like that. I'm like, they don't do that unless there's something bug, unless there's something scaring them. Um, cause animals don't, you know, clearly you can't control that. <laughs> they could be trained to do a lot of things, but shake on demand, like, like literally tails between their legs and their whole body shaking like that and being like apprehensive and on high alert. That's a natural instinct thing. And little children, not, not, bigger children but babies children like that seem to react or or say that something's there or or you know say that they're or you or you actually walk into a room and see them talking to somebody now you can tell your children to do a lot of things but there are just some reactions you can see on a child that are real that are like that like that's really happening you know what i mean so those eh, i question things might be possible I mean, I don't know why I love spooky stuff, <laughs> but uh, I watch that a lot, actually. But I laugh at the ones where, look at that dark figure in the back of the room. Well, yeah, hello, you put him there. <laughs> well, look at that face from around the corner. It almost looks humanoid. <laughs> really? Because that ghost is just going to hide from you. And they're always behind a door, in a closet, um, behind the side of a wall, always peeking out, always a silhouette behind the door. Or, uh, it's just so stupid. <laughs> but I'm so addicted, I've got to watch it. <laughs> and then I laugh at them. I actually fall asleep sometimes watching that stuff. No bad dreams, because it's, it's just so funny to me. I don't even know what made me bring that up. <laughs> oh, when I was talking about my little dancer guy, Dancing on his own. Now that would spook me. <laughs> but then I would figure it was probably somebody haunting me. Maybe one of my parents or grandparents just haunting me. If they, if it was dancing to make me happy, then it would be my grandma. <laughs> she would do that. Anyway. Um, so, yeah. I've got... Oh, and of course I've got Banana Duck and this guy. They make me happy. Make me happy. Oh, no, I dropped banana duck. <laughs> anyway, so, yeah, I've been a little silly this morning. 
have not had the amount of coffee that I deserve. <laughs> But I'm about to now. So, look, I hope you liked the video. Let me know what you think about the idea. Um, and, you know, think of some topics. Also, if you have any questions you want to know from me, that's also something else you can, um, until we do lives, we can always do Monday mornings, and you can, like, ask me questions, like, during the course of the other videos, and then on Monday I can answer them all online. Um, I can answer them all in a video, so... This way here, um, I won't have to worry about um, putting it. It's up to you. Like, if you want me to save it. Like, if you ask me a question you want me to answer, just ask me the question. But if you ask me a question that you want me to answer in a video, then put that in your comment, that question for video. And I will know to save that question and write it down for when I make another video. And then I can add that into it I can incorporate and we can go from there because you never know you might ask me a question and then some other people might want to comment on my answer or on your question or whatever so that's a good idea too <coughs> excuse me so anyway let me know what you think if you like this video I hope you did give it a thumbs up if you haven't yet subscribed I don't know what you're waiting for we need to shoot the poo with Sue Sue has so much poo to shoot. <laughs> like, love, share, and comment, comment, comment. You know I love your comments. Let me know what you think. In the meantime, I want you to be safe, keep warm, be happy, treat everybody with kindness. Definitely my mantra from now on. I saw something that said, make the world kind again. And you know what? That's what we need. We we got to stop all this all this ugliness. N people need to learn to live and let live and and stop all the ugliness. So let's make the world kind again. If we're supposed to have some bad weather, I don't know where you're coming from, but here I'm um, in the northeast, we're supposed to get a nor'easter storm. We're supposed to get some really bad weather. So if you have neighbors, elderly neighbors, that, you know, you notice that nobody's shoveling their walks or or whatever, help them. Make sure that they can get to their mailbox, at least the front door, so that if, God forbid, an emergency happens, rescues can get to them. Um, if the storm lasts for a long time and you know that they can't really get out on their own, bring them some milk and eggs, a loaf of bread, just or, or some fruit. Just bring them something just to say, you know, they might use a roll of toilet paper. Who knows? But that little bit of kindness to your neighbor, that means the world, you know. And people don't expect it, and you don't need to get praise from it. I mean, knock on the door, ring the bell, whatever, and leave it anonymously at the door um, if, if they're afraid to open the door, you know. So it doesn't need to... It's just kindness. It's just being kind to one another. So anyway, if you like the video, give it a thumbs up. Like, love, share, comment, hit the notification bell, subscribe, and I will absolutely see you soon. I hope you have the best day ever. Bye. Mwah.